Good morning, good morning. Crime and hatred just don't pay. Eric Holder, the man who shot rapper Nipsey Hussle, I'm sure we all know, has been found guilty of all counts. He will soon be sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. A lot of people got to realize Eric Holder was Nip- Nipsey's guy. He was once rapping under Nipsey Hussle's label. There was a rumor going around that Eric Holder was a snitch. When he confronted Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle and them two had a conversation in the parking lot, which Nipsey, Nipsey now owns. Nipsey told him, allegedly, you have to take care of that paper, paperwork. Eric, Eric Holder denied that he was even a snitch, so Nipsey wanted proof. A young lady that Eric Holder was riding around with in the car was parked on the side while these two had a conversation. She jumps out the car starstruck and asks to take a selfie with the rapper Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. I don't know if this one flew Eric Holder in, into a rage or the fact that Nipsey Hussle wasn't going to deal with him until he showed the paperwork proving that he wasn't a snitch. And then on top of that, the girl jumps out the car and takes a picture with Nipsey Hussle. The combination of that situations, of them two situations, most likely flew Eric Holder into a rage. So he said he'll be, so they, no, he didn't say he'll be back. He left. He told Nipsey, okay, I'll see you, see you later. He left. He soon returned a few minutes later. Nipsey was standing with three other other guys. Eric Holder walked up to Nipsey, had two guns in his hand, and started firing. Striking Nipsey almost ten times and shooting the other two guys as well. One who was on parole and had to return back to jail as part of a, a as part of a parole violation. Imagine standing there talking to a guy, you get shot and you gotta go back to jail because you violated parole because you got shot. And the bullet wasn't even meant for, meant for you. This would just go to show you sometime when you get out get out the hood, sometime you should stay out. Nipsey Hussle stayed in the in the hood. He opened up businesses in the in the hood. And he was trying to do things to correct the hood, which many feel was got him killed. I don't mind I don't buy the cons- conspiracies about this and that, this and that. There was also alleged reports that Nipsey was talking to the pol- police to try to better communications between the hood and the cops. But I don't think that's what got him killed. I think what got him killed was a conversation he had with Eric Holder, who is known to be a a known shooter. A lot of people know Eric Holder for being a known shooter. He once made people listen to his rap record by pulling out a gun on them and forcing them to listen to the record or he was going to shoot them. He was that kind of kind of guy. Him and Nipsey was friends. That, like I said before, that was Nipsey's guy. But due to the fact of the paperwork, alleged paperwork of him being a snitch, Nipsey was breaking off all ties with him. And I'm sure that's what ultimately threw Eric Holder into a rage, knowing that Nipsey wasn't going to deal with him any anymore, plus people in the neighborhood was going to know that Nipsey got rid of, rid of him. So that would made his name look bad. When you deal with a known shooter... I'm sorry to say, you got to be ready to shoot yourself. Because when he walked up on them, 
They was like looking at him like, oh, here he come again. I wonder what he what he want. But nobody never thought to pull out a gun to protect Nipsey or Nipsey pulling out a gun to protect himself. They never thought of it. So when he got close enough to them, he just started shooting. He was the only one that had a gun out. So he had to drop one of them. And he was able to let his gun gun go first. And Nipsey lost his life be, because of that. Like I said, when you out the hood sometimes, you got to keep keep going. You can come back later and try to help some people out and take them with you. But Nipsey remained a fixture in his old neighborhood. Like, even friends said that he was riding his motorcycle down Slauson Avenue with Lauren London riding on the, on the back. So people could take that as a form of showing off. If you're out the hood, you're out the hood. I understand you got businesses in, in the hood. You got to have people take care of that for you. But you being in the neighborhood seven days a week, after you basically got the money to make it out, kind of puts a target on your back, in my opinion, if you ask, ask me. So Nipsey made the choice, the sad choice, of remaining a fixture in the neighborhood when he was out. Once you're out, you're out. That neighborhood is really no longer yours. You're still a part of it. It's yours in spirit and at heart. But for you to be playing the corners after you made it made it out, don't look good for you. You can have that house on the, on the hill. So when you finish in the hood, you go to your big old house with your pool in the backyard on top of the hill where everybody else got to go back to the pro projects and everything thing else. You got to leave that to the guys who live there and let them situate their own business there. And you have to find better things to do. And that's that. That's my opinion on it all. The North Father is out. I'll be back soon. Peace.